This is a tutorial on how to install R and RStudio on Mac. So first things first, we need to download R from CRAN. So copy the link. Okay, click on download R from Mac OS X. Okay, you're going to want to download the most current version of R on the website. So as of this tutorial, the most current version is 3.4.1. Okay, this will take a second. Now that it's finished downloading, click on the package. Go through the default installation process. My computer forces me to enter a password. Okay, the installation was successful. The next thing I would recommend is installing something called XQuartz. Um, as you see on the R website, XQuartz is really useful if you want to build package documentation from sources or if you want to use the TCLTK package and a bunch of other stuff. So click on XQuartz. Click on this, okay? This installation will probably take longer than installing just flat out R, so please be patient. Double click exports. Go through the default installation procedure. I have to enter a password. Okay. This will take a minute, so I'll pause the video. Now XQuartz is done installing. Let's go on to install our studio. So the first thing we have to do is go to the RStudio website. Scroll down the page and download this RStudio installer. The current version as of this tutorial is 1.0.153. If there's a newer version, please download and install that. I should mention that this blog post will be down below um, and please use it. It's pretty helpful. Okay. Okay. Move RStudio to your applications folder. Okay. Now let's open RStudio. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to test our installation. So for step seven, it's optional, but you can click on this link to go to a linear regression tutorial. And all we'll do over here is copy and paste the code to make sure we have properly installed our studio. Okay. So we have now properly installed our studio. One thing I would recommend is going over how to install extra packages. So if you want to install, uh, for example, data table, try installing a package to make sure everything's working well. And that's it for this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions. And please remember to subscribe if you want more content. Thanks.